Showing and hiding elements is extremely easy to do in jQuery, and it's what I'll show you how to do in this video. So you'll see we've got our bird images again here, and we also have some buttons for showing, hiding, and also toggling showing and hiding image. So with toggle, if the image is shown, then we're going to hide it, and if it's hidden, then we're going to show it. So let's go into the JavaScript now, and let's look at this um, hide selector first. So we're selecting the hide button, and then when somebody clicks on it, we are going to select all of the images and we're going to hide them over 500 milliseconds. So let's just click the hide button here and you'll see that those uh, shrunk down and also faded out um, until they weren't visible anymore. And we can click the show button and they're going to come back. So the way you can call these show and hide function is um, you can pass it the amount of milliseconds you want it to um, hide and show over. Or you can also pass it um, a literal interpretation you can pass it the string slow or normal or fast and that will also be um, interpreted as a certain amount of milliseconds. Another thing we can do is we can toggle the, uh, sh the shown and hidden states and what I'm doing here is I'm selecting the toggle button and then when somebody clicks on it I'm selecting all of the images and I'm using toggle and then normal. So let's test that out on the right side and you'll see that um, as I click the toggle button it just, uh, it just toggles the state. It checks what state it is, and then it toggles that. Um, another thing we can do is, um, with show, hide, and toggle, um, we can also just pass it nothing, just like that. And um, you'll see what that does here. If I click toggle, um, then it's just immediately hidden. Basically has display none, and then display block, display none, display block. Um, so if you pass it nothing, that's the way those work. Um, same thing with... Uh, show and hide. Let's just uh, take that away and refresh here and we'll hide them and then I'll click show and then you'll see that they're immediately shown. So if you just want them immediately to show and not to have any animation effect, um, just don't pass anything to these guys here. So what I want to do now is I just want to uncomment um, the first one and the third one and then I'm going to uncomment this example down here um, where we have a callback function built in. So um, what we're doing here is very similar to above. Um, we're selecting the show button and then we have a click event handler to it. And when somebody clicks on it, we are going to show all of the images slowly. But in the second argument, we passed a function. And this is the callback function that we're going to be run that we're going to run um, when this animation is finished. So in my case, all I want to do is I want to alert finished and now do something else. So let's just refresh on the right side and I'll first click hide to get those hidden. And now I'm going to click show and you'll see those come in and when they finished we're getting this alert finished and now do something else. So these callback functions are going to be extremely useful for you when you want to do something um, once they've been shown or once they've been hidden. And you know these callback functions are available in all the different jQuery animations um, like fading in, fading out, um, you know animating things left and right and you know all of the other animations. In the last example here, we're selecting our toggle button, and when somebody clicks on it, we're going to select all of the images, and then we're going to toggle their hidden or shown states, and we're going to do that at a normal speed, and then once that animation finishes, we're going to run this callback function here. And what I'm doing in this callback function here is I'm selecting that toggle button again, and I'm going to trigger the click event on it. So one way that the click event could be triggered is obviously by the user clicking on it. But we can also trigger that event ourselves by using dot trigger and then passing it the event. Um, in this case, it's the click event. So the result that we're going to get here is an infinite loop of showing and hiding the images. So let's just refresh on the right side and click the toggle button. And you'll see what's happening there is we're just end endlessly um, showing and hiding the element. Um, because as soon as each animation finishes, we're triggering the click event on it again. And what we're getting is this endless loop of um, showing and hiding the images.